So growing up in Swansboro, we're close to multiple bases, and therefore I know a lot of people who are involved uh, with the Marine Corps. For me, I don't want them to have to worry about the helicopters that they ride in. They already have enough that they have to deal with. So for them to feel safe in those vehicles, then it's, it's fulfilling for me. Well, the Department of the Navy has a NAV Air organization, which is the aviation side of NAV Air, about 30,000 employees, mostly civilians. Within that is a, the Fleet Readiness Center Command which is responsible primarily for the maintenance and upkeep of the aircraft in the Navy Marine Corps inventory. One here in North Carolina at Cherry Point, one in Jacksonville, Florida, one in San Diego. NAV Air is responsible for all the aircraft within the Navy. You know, helicopters, fixed wing, any, anything that flies. But we're responsible from the acquisition of the aircraft down to the maintenance. Here at FRC East, the main thing that we work on is fleet sustainment and the readiness of the aircraft to start with. Uh, I'm Kelly Dickey. Uh, I am from Swansboro, North Carolina. Uh, my degree is electrical engineering. I graduated in 2015. Uh, my name is Jeremy Gibson. I'm from New Bern, North Carolina. Born and raised. I graduated North Carolina State University with a degree uh, in computer engineering in May of 2003. Andrew Seiler, and I'm from Havelock, North Carolina. I uh, graduated in 2016 in December, and I got a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. I work for H1 Avionics. Um, I'm technically electrical engineer. Hi, my name is Evan Ragland. I actually grew up in Raleigh, North Carolina, so I'm a rarity in that I'm a local. And uh, I graduated from NC State at the ECE, Engineering Electrical and Computer Engineering College, with the dual degree option in Electrical and Computer Engineering in the summer of 2016. So I'm an electronics engineer, and I am on the CAS family. Uh, which is this big machine behind me. I've been here just at 15 years. I just passed my 15 year anniversary at NAV Air. Uh, I'm currently the branch head of the electrical power and wiring group for all of our FSTs that oversee electrical power and wiring for multiple aircraft platforms, including our V-22 and H-53 platforms, which you're here for. I'm currently on the C-130 fleet support team and my official title would be software support. I work for the software support activity making sure the software for aircraft gets developed. So in high school, I was part of the first robotics club, and that was first what turned me on to electrical engineering. So I, I had no clue what I wanted to do coming out of high school. Excelled in the math and sciences, but I had no idea what that led me to do. So somewhere along the line, I had made up my mind that I was gonna work in computing systems of some sort. And I honestly thought that would lead me down an IT path, but. Uh, I wanted to do engineering because of all the math and science that was involved. And I'm very hands-on. Um, I love working with, uh, working with things, fixing things, so it was just kind of a natural progression. I had the prototypical behavior as a young child of taking everything apart uh, that you hear from engineers. I couldn't necessarily always put it back together, but I tried. Uh, duct tape and super glue fixed everything. Uh, so I think that when I fell in love with the curriculum at NC State, at NC State that's what led me down this career path. And I've loved it ever since, never looked back. So. so I get to work with uh, fighter jets and uh, marine and naval helicopters. Uh, that's really unique. Um, not many people can say that they do that. Um, I'm really hands-on involved with the fleet, which not many people can say that they do that. Um, it, it really gives you a sense of pride based on what you do. I, I enjoy waking up to go to work. You know, I don't feel like I'm working a lot of the time because I love what I do. But I'm from a military family. My, uh, my dad and my uncle were both in the military. My older brothers were in the military. So that means a lot to me to be able to support it. And one of the reasons I came to NAV Air was this was my way of being able to support the same mission they were on. Kind of lend me a connection, not only to them, but to the guys that serve overseas. And honestly, 9-11 happened when I was in, at State. Um, that was a very emotional experience. Um, and I wanted to do something to be able to support the objectives and mission that I knew we were going to um, fight going up. Being able to support our military and our country, that was, that was tremendous for me.